Hi YouTube, um, I just wanted to show you a quick video of my blood pythons um, feeding my juvenile ones. So if you just have a look down here, um, typically I put the mouse in and I was expecting to see <laughs> see them all feeding. I've just come back and uh, they finished, apart from this one. This one is uh, almost finished. So they, they've just had their their rat, you can see the sort of bulge in this one. She's probably looking around in case there's another one. But um, these these are my four sort of hold back um, juveniles. Um, so we've got uh, this one is looking to be a matrix. Um, this one I think is a matrix as well, yeah. And this one is a T positive albino. Um, which was the only uh, albino one that I had. So this one is a kind of a bit more special to me. And this one, I think, is a normal type. It's got some really nice um, contrasty markings already, though. Um, so they've got a lot of growing to do. This is how I sort of keep them at the moment, uh, just in these tubs. And actually, they've outgrown these, really. I'll get them slightly bigger tubs um, soon. And then I keep all of these uh, in the enclosure with the adults, actually, the tubs inside, uh, because then the thermostat uh, in the big enclosure uh, keeps these guys warm at the same time. It's just an easy way of doing it. Uh, and you can see they just have these hide boxes, um, just nice black boxes with a hole cut out. And you can see, look, I just put that over the top gently that they're the sort of perfect size for them at the moment but they can only really just fit in them anymore uh, and then what I do is I just have a paper towel uh, and I replace that every three or four days with fresh just because uh, it gets damp you can see this is already starting to get damp um, and then what I do is I just have like a, a ramekin as a water dish uh, and that obviously maintains the humidity in the tub you can see there's a, uh, air holes at the side for ventilation but it does get a little bit of like humidity um, build up bit of a tiny bit of condensation on here after about three or four days uh, which is when I, I uh, clean them all out again and they eat once a week at the moment um, but this is such a brilliant species of snake like a lot of people um, don't keep them because there's you know been a lot of talk about them being aggressive and things. Um, my adult pair, I suppose they are a little bit feisty, but what I found is uh, maybe that's just because they weren't handled very much when they were young. Um, these guys, um, because they're captive bred for one thing, I mean, I think my adults were captive bred as well, but I think what you've got to do is you've got to captive breed them um, and then you've just got to regularly hold your um, your hatchlings. Um, so when these guys first hatched out of eggs, some of them were a little bit snappy. They were a bit feisty. Um, and what I did is uh, I just made sure that I kind of feed them and then I leave them for a few days. Uh, and then I pick them up and I just I just hold them for quite a while each time. And they they haven't tried to bite, I haven't been bitten by any of them, put it that way, uh, not even once since they were babies, so I think as long as you're gentle with them, they just realise that you're not going to hurt them, and then they're fine, and if you keep doing that, I think until they're adults, they're going to make for some really brilliant snakes, because as adults, they're really quite big and chunky, uh, heavy, sort of nice to hold snakes, and just really impressive looking. Okay, so if you like these kinds of videos, um, check out my ones. Or oh, at this guy, <laughs> he's just finishing his rat here. You can just see the head there. So they're just having one small wiener rat a week at the moment. Um, and actually, my adult pair of um, blood pythons. If you have a look at my other videos, there is a video of them actually. Um, mating because they've been mating again recently 
so hopefully I'll be able to breed them again. They have really quite big, impressive looking eggs as well. Yeah, thanks for watching and um, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I keep lots of reptiles and amphibians and invertebrates, um, so check those out. And if you hit subscribe, you'll just see any new stuff that I post up in the future. Catch you in the next video.